Hello, it's Lucas from Mercedes-Benz of Eastbourne and today we have a wonderful GLC 63S Premium Plus to have a look around. Now, as you can see from the front, we have the uh, Pan America front grille, as you see on all of our highest performance engines, with the lovely Mercedes-Benz star planted right in the middle there. This actually is where we hide the collision prevention assist radar and the uh, Distronic radar, which I'll cover in a couple more moments. Then you've got the radiators just hidden behind the um, bumper just there, and the LED high-performance headlamps, as you'd expect um, on the GLC. Now coming around the side you can see how wonderful this GLC SUV looks uh, and this one has a V8 bi-turbo with the 4MATIC Plus system uh, housed under the bonnet. We've got the night packs so the dark and window surrounds, um, privacy glass and the dark and wing mirrors and they tie in really nicely with these 21 inch AMG crossbow forged alloy wheels uh, with the red, red calipers just behind there really looking fantastic. I love the S badging underneath this as well, uh, it's very nicely done. Um, and down here we've got the traditional uh, shape of the 63 exhaust with a nice aggressive diffuser as well. Now opening up the boot, as you can see, nice and easy to do. Um, there is plenty of room in here indeed. Uh, we have 550 litres worth of boot space and 1600 litres uh, with the seats actually down and you can see we can even raise and lower the boot as well as fold down those rear seats just using the metal toggles on either side so nice and easy to do just clicking the button to get that to lower again coming around the side you can see we also have the keyless entry system so hand in the handle to unlock it and brush it against the back to lock now on the inside you can see we've got the lovely nappa leather with the silver uh, fabric as denotes uh, the 63s family um, you'll only ever really find these on the uh, s variants in the uk so a lovely little touch there um, with the silver seat belts as well coming into the front uh, i just want to show you the cockpit really from when you actually jump in including the silver uh, 12 o'clock stitch on the uh, front wheel lovely flat bottom steering wheel but it really is a lovely place to be and one of my personal favorites are these seats they are incredibly comfortable and far more than they look um, and allow you to do both longer journeys but also be nicely bolstered for the shorter ones we've got a lovely panor panoramic sunroof as well providing light for both the front and the rear passengers um, really a significant feature so i'm going to open up the bonnet and go through the engine quickly now this engine is very special as you'd expect in a 63s it's a v8 hot with a hot inside v so you can see the turbos are housed within the actual bank itself 4 litre, uh, producing 510 brake horsepower with 700 newton meters of torque, so very high indeed. It's 3.8 seconds to 60, and it will get all the way out to an electronically limited 174 miles per hour. So now that I've actually jumped into the car, you can see the lovely digital dash in front of the driver. But where I wanted to start was the actual multimedia screen. Now I won't do this in a huge amount of detail because I've done it plenty of times before. But you can connect up your phone for Bluetooth to make and receive calls. You've got navigation in there, FM and AM stations as well as DAB. Connect up your phone for Apple Music, uh, anything like that. And we've got comfort in there as well. But in the actual AMG section, you can see we've got plenty of information about the car, such as the steering angle, brake and uh, gas application. And we have further engine information, as uh, you can see, uh, which reads out live, including the temperature of the uh, various different oils that you might need, but specifically the horsepower and torque output of the engine. Now coming down, you can see the lovely carbon fiber finish uh, on the center console here. We have our automatic climate control, so temperature on either side for both the front passengers and the quick select just here. Opening up the cubby, we can see we've got a couple of cup holders and 12 volt supply as well, nice and easy to get to. Then coming down, we've got our laptop style touchpad for the uh, screen, but we have also got our dynamic select, uh, manual gearbox control, traction control, suspension, engine note options, as you can see, that's a personal favorite. Um, in there we've also got the ability to uh, accept and decline calls on the left and adjust all the distronic and uh, radar guided cruise control on the steering wheel itself lovely toggles for changing the gears and on the 63s now we get a few additional options available on the actual steering wheel itself to make adjustments to the car as you're driving and as you can see we can go through all the different dynamic select modes as well all the way from comfort sport sport plus up to race um, which is the most sporty mode available. Over here we have our fully electronic um, 
front seats. We've got memory functions in there as well. So it'll remember where you like to be and we can adjust the uh, driver's screen here. So you can have plenty of different information as you want uh, in there, including a G-Force meter, as you can see. Thank you so much for watching. As usual, this has been Lucas. You can get me on 01323 465028. This has been the GLC63S and please don't forget to like and subscribe.